and welcome to this lesson which is all about major scales. Now this is a carry on lesson uh, being part of the pro zone um, you see these lessons other people won't see them. Um, it goes into more depth about the actual uh, subject of playing scales and how to get the most out of them. That being said if you haven't actually seen the free section which uh, describes the seven major scales and how I apply them I would uh, ask you to go and have a look just now and make sure that you've memorized those major scales. Okay, so let's talk about these major scales then. Now there were seven major scales given, which if you think about it, gives you complete coverage of the neck, and that was what I outlined in the last lesson. But also, because there are seven major scales with seven roots, it means that in any one position, you will have seven keys, major scale forms or patterns, under your fingers. So if I take uh, position 5, that's my 2nd finger over fret 6, and I just play through the 7 scales, I actually generate 7 keys. I'll show you just now. So the first one is C major, my pinky is on root, uh, root 6, fr uh, string 6, sorry, fret number 8. <laughs> here. This is an F, chord, uh, an F root. The next root I'm going to play is B flat. And next is an E flat under finger 2 on string 5. one is going to be finger one uh, at fret four and string six, six. See there's a little stretch finger going on there between one and two. That will stay consistent. And next up is the same kind of form but now on uh, string number five. Oops, play that again. That was uh, D flat major there. And finally, we've got one root left, which is on string four. Now, uh, I'm going to play it here, the G, but I just want to recap what I've just done there in a second. And it will move out of position. But in the same position that I started in, it would be G major. I'm going to start out from this one, probably makes more sense, because on the screen now, hopefully you're going to be uh, looking at the cycle of fifths. Well, you will be looking at the cycle of fifths, because I put it there. So that cycle is a really important uh, musical tool, because chord progressions tend to move around the cycle. Uh, if we had, say, a chord progression in the key of G, a common progression would be G major, E minor, a minor and D7 and you can see on the chart how that movement starts on a G it goes anti-clockwise to an E and then falls clockwise around that's called going around the cycle now in terms of practicing our scales we're actually going to use this cycle we're going to go around the cycle so we're going to start at G and then G major we'll play that then C major F major B flat major, E flat major, A flat major, and then D flat major. So that's the seven patterns of these scales that you've been shown, and it's going to be played in a system that allows you to go around the cycle. So let's start. You can see that my root, this is the odd one out, it's a root on string number four. It's the only one that has its root on string four. So it's the one where the pinky stretches. So so that's G major and then next scale would be C. C major the next scale in, in the cycle would be F major following on would be B flat major And 
then we get E flat major. A flat major. And finally, D flat major. So you can see that um, I played all of these scales, these seven scales, that's more than half the cycle in one position. So the question is, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to practice them this way? Well, simply because you don't want to be stuck just always being able to, you know, being able to play in just one key. A lot of songs, and if you're improvising, they move around different keys. And the ability to play in more than one key in one position is absolutely crucial. Um, I'm going to try and move through these, go up one and down the next. So I'll be going up G major, coming down C major, and then from wherever I land, I'll then start moving up B flat major. I'm going to get to the top note, I'll come down E flat major. Hopefully you'll see what I'm, I'm doing. I won't do it too fast so you can catch it, and I won't make any mistakes. So I'm going to go up G major. <laughs> major, up F major, down B flat major, up E flat major, down A flat major, and up D flat major. Do that again a little faster. So we're going to start on G major. So up G, down C. So here we go G major, C major, up F major, down B flat major, up E flat major, down A flat major, and up. Whoop, make a mistake there. Okay, that last one was D flat major. So you can see it's a fairly difficult thing, especially when you're having to say it as you play it. But the, the fact is that you can play this in any position on the neck and you'll generate seven major scales around that one position. So I hope that's of help for you. Um, again, you really do need to know these major scales off by heart and remember the reason that you're learning this is because you can then have seven keys in any one position under your fingertips especially if you're playing uh, music like jazz uh, or you know improvised heavy rock or whatever where you're having to move from key to key so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, look out for more of these types of videos in the pro zone uh, there'll be a pdf with the actual uh, concepts here for you to download okay Best of luck and I'll see you soon.